you're old, like really, really old. We didn't even know how old you were, but now, now we know and we're gonna tell everyone. Trace here for D News, and using DNA from a man in South Carolina named Albert Perry, scientists have pushed back the age of humans by almost 140,000 years. That's huge. Prior to this discovery, the fossil record had shown humans began to appear around 200,000 years ago. But this part of humanity split off from that group, and they evolved alongside. We are way older than we thought. We found this out through the National Geographic Genographic Project, which was set up to find out when and where humanity originated. When researchers at the NGGP peeked into this dude's DNA, they were shocked. There were no markers that matched any of the half million samples that they had on file. Luckily, Perry had a rare mutation on his Y chromosome, and using a gene sequencer and a giant database of DNA, scientists finally found an ancestor in the Mbo, living in a tiny area of western Cameroon in sub-Saharan Africa. If you think of the Y chromosome like a family tree, with the oldest members at the bottom of the trunk, this man was on a whole nother tree from everyone else, and this tree is like 70% taller than any of the other trees. How do they know it's so old? Well, it all starts with sex. Doesn't it always? Sperm and egg each get half of the 46 chromosomes that could eventually make up a human. One of those inside of the sperm is unique to males, the Y chromosome. We all begin as female and then the Y chromosome is thrown in there at the right moment and bam, male. So in practice, every human is either XX, female, or XY, male. When humans pop out a baby boy, the Y chromosome is passed on relatively unchanged. So using the tiny variations and the mutation of the Y chromosome over time, we can track humanity's paternal family tree. When Perry's DNA showed up in their microscopes, the researchers had a whole new family tree, a whole separate set of mutations that dated back 338,000 years. By the way, for you ladies out there, following the X chromosome through history is also possible, but different. So this time it's all Y. Genetics, dude, what can you do? The age of Perry's DNA adds even more credence to the theory that there is no single pair of humans that spawned the rest of us. This evidence shows that there was a number of different groups of genetically distinct humans that evolved to be us, and at some point in the last 200,000 years, someone in Perry's Y chromosome tree bred with someone in another tree, merging the two into one. Just like that Spice Girls song. It's even possible that Perry's tree isn't the only other one. The lead researcher believes that there are other distinct populations of Y chromosomes all over the place, and as we pull in more samples, we'll discover more Y chromosome trees looping in with the one we now know, proving even more so that we did not descend from one pair, but rather several small groups. Would you want scientists to tell you what your DNA says about you, even if it meant genetic disorders or crazy ancestry? Share your feelings in the comments and subscribe to DNews so that you can get both of our videos every single day of the week. Thanks for watching everybody. See you later.